Hey guys, welcome back to Kizzy and Summer. Today we're gonna do a tutorial on a back handspring. So, yeah. for back handspring, this is what it should look like. Hold on, stand up. Exactly like that. And guys, before trying a back handspring, make you sure should you have, have your back bend. All these skills. Watch Alexandra. She's gonna do all so of the I'm skills. Gonna you do all the skills that you should need before you do back handspring. Ready to do a back handspring. Okay, so here she is. First, you should be able to do a back walk. Exactly like that. And next, a, a bridge. A bridge kickover. A bridge kickover. Yes. If back. you don't have a back walkover, a bridge kickover is fine. But also practice that too because it makes it way easier. So, back bend, kick over. You should also have a very hollow stomach when you do it so you're not all. Like, imagine doing a back handspring like this with your arms out like that. Yeah. So, you need a hollow stomach. You need a hollow stomach and not arch. So she's going. Kinsey is going to give an example of a drill where you you're going to go like you're going to reach for it, but then you're going to go to your belly. Let's try that one more time. Yes, exactly like that. If you have a trampoline, that's great for this. So make sure maybe you want to go to like a trampoline park and try it. Yeah. So. So f next, you're going to try. So next, you're going to try going like and going to a bridge. So here to your bridge, but don't fall like I did. Kind of hard, guys. Yeah. Kick over. Yeah. Maybe but try that on like a floor or something, and not a dribbling. Like and do it back. Exactly. And then yeah. Jump into a backhand if you feel prepared. Yeah. Do this drill a lot. This one. Yeah, that one's a very good drill. And also, you can also try with a spot. You can also go to. You can also go to Empire Gymnastics. It's a very good place to. Um, it's a very good place to. Get out your energy and have fun. And um, I'm on the XL Gold team, and um, I think it's very fun there. Her mom also owns the gym. Next, you're going to try to jump into your back handspring. You're going to try to go backward, but back like this. Not, not up like this. You don't want to go up, you want to go back. Yeah, because up makes it a whip. You see how her hands were up on that? Let me get lower on that. Do one that's high. So, a whip? A whip, basically, yeah. So, yeah, she had her, um, she had her, um, arms, her arms were, like, her feet were already on the ground, but her hands didn't even touch the ground yet. So, what you want to do is have your hands down first, and then, then your feet the come down. And you're also going to want to jump backwards. Not up. Yeah, backwards. Well, first you jump up, then backwards. Yeah, jump up and backwards. Don't, don't just up. jump up. You don't want to go up in the air like this. You don't want to do this. Like she just did. Do this. Yeah. And go out. Mm hmm. So, yeah. All right. Let's see all our skills put together. What do you mean? Or our drills put together. So, first, we have this one. The thing to your bridge, and my coach always used to support me by doing like a back handspring to my knees. So like this, where I'd go into like my knee, and I'd have kind of a Z shape. So let's try all those things and put them into a, a back handspring. And you should have a really good back handspring like her. 
See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.